KATC Chief Meteorologist Rob Perillo. Welcome back. Well, the rain and thunderstorms weren't too bad across the area. In fact, we really busted on that severe weather forecast. The saving factor at cool air coming in from the Gulf of Mexico, the marine air just throwing a wet blanket on all those severe weather dynamics and the storm system that was moving more north than it has been east. So uh, we really didn't get a push with those upper level dynamics, but no complaints here. Haven't gotten any complaints on Facebook or Twitter. That's always a good sign. Sometimes uh, we get Get that when we don't hit on the forecast, but a uh, big weather back to the west, big snows a foot or more back from the big bend up through uh, west central Texas, and then icy weather as you go farther to the north. Heavy rainfall, severe weather a pounded Texas for about 24 hours now, finally moving out. But we still have some shower activity, and the threat of severe weather may be occurring uh, farther to the east over into Mississippi and Alabama later tonight. But strongest action that we saw was this line of storms that we left you at uh, six o'clock was over southwest Louisiana as progressing into Mississippi and Alabama, uh, Miss Eastern uh, Louisiana and southwestern Mississippi. And those folks are going to keep an eye on that. Meanwhile, we have on and off shower activity and breezy southwest winds across the area. As we mentioned earlier, those winds gusting over 30 in spots. So it's going to be a kind of a blustery, yucky uh, period when these showers are moving on through and they're moving right through Lafayette Parish at this hour. So kind of a rainy period for the next hour or so. And then you're going to see some breaks and on and off weather at least till about 1 a.m. or so. So no guarantees that it's going to be dry at exactly midnight if you want to be popping off fireworks at that time. If you hear a KTC, it's been sounding like the War of 1812 outside for the last couple of hours. Uh, rain wise, it's going to be moving off to the east as we get a little bit past midnight. I think the graph model is a little uh, kind of aggressive on getting the rain out of here, but uh, still some showers maybe up until about 1 or 2 a.m. and then things will be calming down. Uh, we generally fare to partly cloudy skies trying to come in. Drier air will be moving in and that's how we're going to start the day tomorrow. Plenty of high clouds, dull sunshine out there and those clouds are going to dominate for a good part of the day tomorrow. Also Saturday, but we'll also see sunny intervals as well as this area of low pressure finally moves on out. Breezy and cool air for us as we go into our Friday or New Year's Day and again plenty of high clouds across the area streaming in the region uh, through not only tomorrow, but also into Saturday. Saturday. We start off Saturday with cloud cover, but sunny skies should come back by the afternoon and we got lots of sunshine in store for us on Sunday as well. Chilly conditions, especially as we head into Sunday morning. In fact, let's look at those temperatures dropping down into the upper 40s to lower 50s, mid 40s as you get up towards Senlaw. And then tomorrow temperatures hold in the 50s most of the day. For the most part, there'll be a little bit of a wind chill out there. Breezy westerly winds during the course of the day. Then as we head into tomorrow night, it's going to be a little bit cooler with temperatures dropping down uh, more than likely into the 40s. We'll get down into the low to mid 40s. Could see upper 30s as you get just north of the Ville Platte area, say perhaps up toward Turkey Creek and Leesville. And then Saturday holding mostly in the 50s and the coldest night we see over the next week or so will be Saturday night into Sunday morning. Could see some patchy frost. Temperatures mid 30s locally. Best chance of a light freeze will be over toward Mississippi as we finish out the weekend. So showers eventually tapering around Around midnight, give or take a few hours. I'd give a few hours more. Rain chance still pretty high, 49 the low. Severe weather threat obviously over with. And then as we look at your forecast at midnight, right at 58 degrees. Happy 2021. Again, it's nice to put 2020 in the rearview mirror, but a couple of rough months ahead in 2021. But at least brighter days ahead, we think, coming up in this new year. 59 the high for your tomorrow. And as we go down the line, temperatures in the 50s through the weekend. Maybe a sprinkle with those high clouds Saturday, but not likely. Good looking weather into next week with warming temperatures and then next rainmaker will be coming late Wednesday, mainly Wednesday evening or Wednesday night. That's it for weather. We're going to be right back right after this.